China is putting up their own version of Starlink and Kuiper right now. And think about the geopolitical implications of China being able to provide high-speed internet all across the world. China has made a groundbreaking move in internet innovation, challenging Starlink's dominance in satellite technology. For years, the United States, through Elon Musk's Starlink and its close ties to the Pentagon, has maintained a stronghold on global satellite internet. This control allowed the U.S. to dictate where and how internet services were provided. But now, the game is changing. China just ended that monopoly with a big move it has made in its space program. It just conducted a 100 gigabytes per second satellite to ground laser communication test, which beat Starlink's data transfer capabilities. China is now poised to become Starlink's biggest competitor, challenging the United States' dominance in information technology. This marks a significant shift with global repercussions that will reshape the landscape of digital connectivity. Let's dive into the details. In December 2024, China achieved a significant milestone by launching the third batch of Low Earth Orbit LEO satellites under the Qianfan project, also known as Thousand Sails. This project aims to launch 15,000 satellites, making it one of the largest space efforts in history. It is important to note that this is more than two times the number of Starlink satellites in orbit right now. With this, China aims to create a vast network capable of providing high-speed internet and robust communication services worldwide, ensuring a competitive edge in the rapidly expanding global space economy. It seems the U.S. monopoly in satellite communications is coming to an end, and a new era of global competition is beginning. You're seeing just the very beginnings of China's bid to do something that would be competitive with Starlink. Yet, Qianfan is just one part of a larger vision. Alongside this, China has unveiled additional projects of a similar scale, showing its commitment to dominating the satellite communications landscape. The Guowang project, for instance, has outlined plans to deploy 13,000 satellites, while Honghu-3 sets its sights on a constellation of 10,000 satellites. Together, these plans envision a total of 38,000 satellites, positioning China as a major player in global satellite networks. Although Honghu-3 has not initiated any launches yet, its scale indicates a calculated approach to ensuring a strategic advantage in space. For China, satellite internet is not just about technological advancement, but a key tool for expanding geopolitical influence. By targeting regions with poor digital infrastructure or strong anti-Western sentiments, China plans to provide internet services with controlled and censored content. Such regions include Russia, Afghanistan, Syria, and parts of Africa presenting Beijing with a unique opportunity to strengthen its influence through digital connectivity. Africa, where Huawei already supplies 70% of the 4G infrastructure, is a key focus for China's satellite internet expansion, promising significant technological and geopolitical influence. This could further strengthen its technological dominance in the region, offering not only internet access, but also a Chinese-controlled digital ecosystem. Such influence could shape how millions of users access information, communicate and participate in the global economy, giving Beijing considerable sway in shaping public opinion and policy in these regions. These satellite projects are also tightly linked to China's ambitious Belt and Road Initiative, BRI. China wants to include satellite internet in its global projects, drawing other countries into its tech network. This ecosystem, once established, creates dependencies that extend beyond digital infrastructure, embedding China's influence into the economic and political fabric of these nations. The question remains, as China's digital presence grows in these regions, will it foster mutual growth or will it deepen global divisions through selective connectivity and ideological control? Starlink, which is a groundbreaking satellite internet initiative, has not only revolutionized global connectivity, but also given the United States significant leverage over the future of the internet. Even the US military and national security have become key associates. Through the deployment of thousands of satellites in low Earth orbit, Starlink offers internet access to remote and underserved regions, bypassing traditional terrestrial infrastructure. While this advancement promotes global connectivity, it also raises serious concerns for countries that oppose U.S. influence, as Starlink has become a powerful tool for U.S. geopolitical power. In regions where governments tightly control internet access or censor information, Starlink provides uncensored access to the global internet, which can be seen as both a blessing and a potential tool for the spread of American values and influence. Starlink's uncensored internet gives the U.S. major control over global communication, worrying countries like Brazil. For nations with strained U.S. relations, Starlink poses a dilemma. 
Its connectivity benefits come with the risk of deeper American control over critical infrastructure, data, and content access. Starlink is more than a connectivity tool. It establishes digital dependencies that could be used for political or economic leverage. This monopoly in space-based internet access is particularly troubling for nations seeking a level playing field. In an age where information is power, controlling global internet access means shaping narratives, influencing markets, and managing dissent. Countries like China and Russia see Starlink's dominance, backed by clear U.S. ownership, as a symbol of power imbalance, potentially used to pressure nations resisting U.S. policies. These fears aren't unfounded. The U.S. has historically used its technological dominance for sanctions and restricting access to global systems, from financial networks to tech products. China, however, views space as a critical battleground to rival U.S. technological and geopolitical influence. Over the past decade, it has achieved remarkable milestones, including the first ever landing on the moon's far side, a scientific and strategic triumph that yielded valuable lunar soil samples. By 2030, China plans to send astronauts to the moon, with ambitions to establish a permanent base near its South Pole by 2035. This region, rich in resources like water ice, could serve as a hub for deeper space exploration and scientific research. China's initiatives aren't just about exploration. They signal a challenge to U.S. dominance in space. As Beijing pushes forward, this growing competition raises a crucial question. Will the future of space exploration foster cooperation or escalate into a new era of geopolitical rivalry? Since 2021, China has significantly ramped up investments in satellite systems, marking a pivotal shift in its approach to global connectivity and technological self-reliance. This surge is fueled by recognition of the untapped opportunities in bridging connectivity gaps worldwide. While Starlink has rapidly expanded its reach, some nations have either declined its services due to political concerns or remained underserved, leaving room for competitors like China to step in. China is home to the largest number of internet users in the world, with over 1 billion people connected to the internet as of 2023. According to the International Telecommunication Union, ITU, and various market research sources, the sheer scale of China's internet user base is unmatched globally, contributing to approximately 20% of the total internet users worldwide. However, despite this impressive number of connected users, China also has the second largest unconnected population in the world, trailing only India. The main reason is the significant gap between urban and rural internet penetration. While major cities like Beijing, Shanghai, and Shenzhen boast nearly perfect internet access, rural and remote areas face starkly different realities. Many of these areas are still lacking reliable broadband connections, and local economies often struggle to afford the infrastructure costs needed for widespread connectivity. As of 2024, roughly 336 million people in China, many of them in less developed regions, remain offline or lack consistent high-quality internet access. This digital divide is one of the largest in the world, highlighting the challenges that China faces in achieving full nationwide connectivity. In contrast, the United States, with a population of approximately 335 million, has over 331 million internet users, representing 97% of the population. This places it among the most connected nations in the world. Unlike China, the U.S. has successfully reduced the urban-rural gap in internet accessibility, while a digital divide persists, particularly in remote and rural areas, the country benefits from a highly advanced telecommunications infrastructure that supports widespread connectivity. According to the U.S. Federal Communications Commission, only about 14% of rural Americans lack broadband access, a significantly lower percentage than in China. This progress is largely attributed to government initiatives aimed at expanding coverage in underserved regions and the extensive deployment of 4G and 5G networks. Despite boasting one of the largest internet user bases globally, China faces a major challenge, bridging the digital divide for its vast unconnected population. This issue demands massive investments in rural infrastructure, digital literacy programs, and cutting-edge technologies like satellite internet to close the gap. China achieved a milestone with a 100 gigabytes per second satellite-to-ground laser communication test, surpassing Starlink's capabilities and redefining global communications. This remarkable milestone is equivalent to transferring 10 full-length movies in just one second, redefining the potential of global communications. At the heart of this advancement is cutting-edge laser technology, which provides unmatched efficiency, speed, and bandwidth. 
Compared to conventional radio wave systems, this leap proves China's ambition to lead in satellite innovation and raises compelling questions about how such advancements will reshape the dynamics of the digital and geopolitical landscapes. What new possibilities will emerge as laser-driven satellite communications become the new standard? Starlink has achieved significant progress, with nearly 7,000 operational satellites deployed and over 5 million customers served across more than 100 countries. With a clear vision for the future, SpaceX aims to expand its constellation to an astonishing 42,000 satellites, ensuring broader coverage, faster speeds, and a firmer grip on the satellite internet market. China, however, is positioning itself as a formidable competitor. Through its Qianfan, Guowang, and the Honghu 3 projects, the nation plans to deploy a combined 38,000 satellites, a scale comparable to Starlink's ambitions. While Starlink's primary market has been developed nations and regions with strong demand for high-speed internet, China's strategy focuses on underserved and remote areas, markets that have often been overlooked. By targeting these regions, China hopes to carve out a significant share of the market and establish itself as a leader in global connectivity. Because of the ambition of both countries, the competition in low Earth orbit satellite internet has reached unprecedented levels, with multiple players vying for dominance in the rapidly expanding market. Amazon's Project Kuiper, although still in its early stages, plans to launch more than 3,000 satellites, with two prototypes already in orbit to test their technology. Meanwhile, OneWeb, with 630 satellites launched, focuses on delivering connectivity to some of the world's most underserved regions, promising high-speed internet even in the most isolated places. In 2023, China solidified its position as a global leader in space activities, ranking second in government space investments with a substantial $14 billion allocated to its ambitious programs. While this figure is impressive, it pales in comparison to the United States, which maintained its dominant position by investing a staggering $73 billion in space-related activities. Despite the financial gap, China's state-funded projects benefit from centralized planning and strategic prioritization, enabling efficient use of resources and a steady expansion of its capabilities. China's commitment to scaling its space infrastructure is evident in its rapid advancements. A recent test with a satellite from the Jilin-1 constellation, renowned for its high-resolution imaging, underscores its focus on technological precision. By 2027, China plans to expand this constellation to 300 satellites, creating an extensive data transfer network capable of near-instantaneous space-to-ground communication. With global satellite deployments projected to reach 58,000 by 2030, China is racing to secure its share of orbital real estate, and reshape the dynamics of space-based communications. Even with large funding, China struggles to launch the thousands of satellites needed for its plans. A key limitation in this race is China's relative lag in reusable rocket technology. While SpaceX has revolutionized satellite deployment with its reusable Falcon rockets, dramatically reducing launch costs and improving efficiency, China is still working to catch up in this critical area. This disparity in launch capabilities poses a major challenge to China's plans. Who do you think will win this race for space? Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like and hit the notification bell to stay updated with the latest news on the channel. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.